we're looking at some of the test blocks that I started cutting uh, as part of my local language residency. I'm really interested in this idea of interference, so I'm developing a series of large-scale prints based on interference principle, and because local language has such great tools, uh, I got a chance to use the CNC router to go ahead and cut some large-scale wood block. We're looking at works from my solo show at Design Gallery entitled Equation Matrix Substrate. And the show is titled that because I wanted to give a nod to process. You know, I'm classically trained as a printmaker and the idea of working with printmaking matrices is really important to me. And all of the work in the show is actually derived in some way from utilizing a printmaking process, even if the finalized works aren't the traditional prints on paper that you would expect. So the title's a bit of a nod to that approach and talks a little bit about the different kind of formats because we're looking at work that is on paper and then works on panel and then installation pieces. We're looking at just kind of testing registration, testing ink colors, testing transparency, and just to get a sense of how the block prints. So, you know, we've pulled a couple of prints that can give me something to look at and kind of consider as I move forward making other blocks and developing the series. So you see that kind of overlap of the two different patterns. Like these seem like they're concentric circles, but they're not exactly. So when printed together, you can kind of get this overlay. It's almost a bit of a moray pattern. So this is some of my newest work and it's one of the installations that I've been working on. So within this idea of working with visual portrayals of information systems, here you can see where I've kind of cut segments of them out and I'm working with laser cut wooden forms that have printed surface with many, many layers of transparent ink and then they're finished with a matte resin surface. Here, with some of the other works in the show, I talk a little bit about that concept of germination and utilizing principles and mathematical equations that you find in nature. And so when it came to installing this one, I thought a little bit about that idea of germination. And it kind of takes on a bit of the form of a Fibonacci sequence, the kind of growth patterns that you find in nature. So these come with kind of, I think, a clever installation system. They're on these magnetic posts so that the forms can actually be interchanged. So the installation can kind of grow and move. And I think that kind of adds a bit of play to the piece that I really enjoy. So this piece is another one in the series where I'm working with the idea of the matrix as the work. This is actually a carved wood block that has been printed and you can see the prints in some of the other pieces. But in this particular circumstances, I've gone ahead and finished and painted the surface and then poured this resin. So the idea of like the matrix being in conversation with the actual resulting prints, the matrix becomes the work itself.
we're here at Inclusions Gallery. And behind me, you can kind of see a new series that I'm working on. Um, these are kind of experimental woodcuts. I think there's quite a different surface depiction here. I mean, we think of woodcuts as being such kind of graphic mediums, but here you can see that I'm using a lot of colors that are quite subtle and a lot of transparency to make surfaces that are almost patinaed and metallic-like, not what you would traditionally see in the woodcut medium. We're also continuing to look at the Vortex series, which is something that I've been playing around with this year. Um, in this particular variations, these have a really lovely high gloss resin on them, and it gives them a much different kind of depth. I think it really brings out the subtlety of the printing within the series. And I really like to see all of these in conversation with each other. I think there's something about a grouping in a grid where it becomes more than a singular piece. Most of it is work on panel, but I do have this series of works on paper, which is a very subtle stencil technique called pochoir. It's a French stenciling technique. And these have a certain kind of much softer uh, feeling than some of the other pieces. And I think I wanted to keep them as works on paper because it kind of brings that fragility together with the work. Try that again. <laughs> 